Hi there, fellow fence weavers. I wanted to just do a short little video on some of the tools that you're gonna want to have on hand. Uh, so something first to note, having glasses, even though they're hard to wear with masks, uh, glasses as a safety feature for the whips coming around is a really good notion. You want to have something, uh, it's called a dibbler in the weaving world. It's basically a pokey stick that you can drive into the soil. Um, and uh, kind of pre-tap your holes. I really like these old um, metal sharpening uh, blades are fantastic for use. Uh, you could also otherwise use um, what's called a hori hori. Uh, just something again you're able to dig into the ground and wiggle back and forth and kind of pre-tap the hole that you're going to want. Cardboard is what we have done down on the edge of our fences with wood chips over top. If you're wanting a living willow fence, that helps suppress the weeds from uh, another um, seeds in the ground from growing up and gives the space that your red osier or willow would require. Um, it's not necessary, but it's kind of nice to be able to sheet mulching, sheet mulch those those spots, and it gives a really nice finished edge to the um, pieces you can see. Um, the other tool, um, secateurs are great. I didn't have secateurs just handy here, so I've got these big clippers. Uh, gloves, of course, are good. The cardboard is um, recommended but not necessary. Um, you want to have that uh, tape stripped off of that and you can rip that down into shorter pieces ready for use. And then the other thing here, I've got these awesome mallets that my husband made. Um, anything that you can be giving a good bonk on either the end of your stick that you are um, pre-tapping with or if you're putting in fence posts, uh, it's often handy to have a mallet as well. For that so that's it for us today we've got our fence done here on the first section all the way around and it's nice to see that integrated into with some of the yellow willow and that's us for the day here